My craft room is relatively organized. It's more like organized chaos, as my friend Ingrid likes to say. As for my closet in my craft room, it's just chaos and I need to do something about it. Anytime I even think about having to go in there to find something, I just get so stressed out, I don't even wanna craft anymore. But today's the day that's gonna change. I bought some cheap storage bins so that I can get organized in my closet. And I'm even going to be using my Cricut Explore Air 2 to label all of the bins. So let's get into it. Here is a better look at how much stuff is actually crammed in this closet. I was able to shut the door, so my thought process was out of sight, out of mind. But over time, it got really bad, and when I realized that I didn't even want to go in there to look for anything, I knew it needed to change. And even when I did muster up the courage to go look for something in there, it would take me hours to find what I needed and it was making my whole creative process less enjoyable. So I decided it was time I'm getting in there and I am taking everything out of the closet first. This way I can get a good look at everything that I have, throw away anything that I didn't want anymore, and I also made a big pile to give to my mom and my nieces. I am going to keep it 100% real with you guys. This is what my room looked like at the end of the day. At this point, I really thought to myself that I would never get done. But I kept going and here is a quick look at the pretty empty closet. There was still a few things left in there, but it was pretty empty at that point. The easiest way I found to organize everything is I took all of the smaller bins and put them around my room. That way when I was going through the larger bins, I was able to easily put everything where it needed to go. Having dedicated smaller bins in my closet for organization is definitely going to make it easier for me when I go in there and look for something specific. There was some things in my Calyx unit that I wasn't using as often, so I decided to put them in bins as well. I even organized all of my backgrounds that I've created over the years. Now that everything is organized in the bins, I'm going to write down all of the words I need for my labels. Then I am going to take all of the words and type them in Cricut Design Space. This is really simple to do. And I'm going to be using my Cricut Explore Air 2 to cut out the words in vinyl. Now that I have all of my words to cut out, I'm going to hit Make It and I'm going to make sure everything looks good and for material I chose vinyl. I am going to load my cutting mat with the vinyl side up and when the Cricut symbol starts blinking you hit that and it is ready to cut. I do need to replace my cutting mat so I just put some painters tape along the edges to keep the vinyl in place. I do have my everyday vinyl setting to cut twice. This is going to make sure that it cuts all the way through the vinyl. After about 30 minutes it was done cutting and here is a close look at all of the words. Now I'm going to peel back all of the excess vinyl so the words are still on the cutting mat. I do this very slowly and I take my time because I don't want any of the letters to rip. Now I'm going to take a Cricut tool to weed out all of those little pieces I don't want to transfer. When that's done, I'm going to take some transfer tape and carefully add it to the top of my vinyl words. I'm going to be using another Cricut tool to make sure the transfer tape is pressed on the vinyl really well. After the transfer tape is adhered to the top, I am going to cut out all of the individual words that I'm going to be adding to my bins. I'm going to be using my Cricut scissors for this because they're very sharp. And you can find all of the supplies that I'm using down in the description box. And stay with me because you are not going to wanna to miss how amazing the closet looks after it's all done. But first, I'm going to take all of these words and add them to my bins. I am going to separate the transfer tape from the backing and the letters will stick to the transfer tape. I will try and eyeball the center the best I can and I am not worried about perfection because perfection is definitely overrated. I am going to use the Cricut Scraper tool again to help press on the vinyl letters to the bins. Then I'm going to carefully start peeling up the transfer tape. This was a bit tricky because the letters were so thin, but I took my time and the vinyl adhered nicely to the bins. So with one finger, I wiggled the transfer tape until I got a little edge of the letter. Then I held down the letter to the bin and the transfer tape came off a bit easier. With about 30 bins to label, this took a little bit of time, but I knew the end result was going to be worth it. With all of the bins labeled, now it's time to start stacking them in the closet. And because I don't like to spend my money on organization products, I found the cheapest clear plastic bins I could find. 
and these white bins I already had, they just weren't getting used. And just in case you forgot what the closet looked like before, here is a quick reminder of how unorganized and cluttered it was. Here is a look at the other side of the closet before I organized it. And here is the closet all organized with all of my plastic bins. After days of working on this closet, it was so nice and I felt so relieved when it was finally done. And now that everything has its own bin and place, I don't get immediately stressed when I think about having to go in my closet anymore. It definitely feels good to get organized. If you're looking for more motivation to get your whole craft room organized, be sure to click this short playlist right here. I share lots of tips on how I organize everything in my craft room. I'll meet you there.